Welcome. My name is Max Reed from Collision Repair Magazine. Thank you for joining us this week for our live coverage of the SEMA 360 event. We'll be talking to a number of key industry players from across the automotive industry to see what new products they're bringing to the table this year. So could you just talk a little bit about what products and training uh, kind of things Fuji Spray is offering at SEMA 360 this year? Yeah, yeah. So. Um... On the product front, um, we're back for another year at, at SEMA, uh, showcasing our leading line of, of our high quality spray technology. Uh, specifically this year, we're showcasing our, uh, our new V8 line of spray guns, as well as our um, X-Series line of, of, of uh, compressor spray guns. They feature both HVLP and, uh, and mid-pressure technology. And then in addition to our compressor lineup for the first time this year, Fuji Spray Auto is showcasing our um, HVLP turbine line of sprayers. So um, not typically the conventional setup for, for automotive finishing or uh, collision repair, but ideal for mobile technicians, on-site repairs of you know, fleet vehicles, that sort of thing. Okay, okay. Uh, is, there, is there sort of like a, uh, what was the thought process sort of in what you decided to take to SEMA this year, especially given that it's online as opposed to, uh, as opposed to in person? Yeah. So. Um, I mean, at, at the actual in-person shows, one of the big draws to the, the Fuji booth was our virtual spray simulator. So people would put on a fully immersive VR headset, walk into the booth and actually be able to spray. So, I mean, that um, was definitely something we weren't able to bring to SEMA 360, but the preparation for the most part was the same as, as previous years. Um, we usually start about anywhere between four to six months beforehand. Um, given that we're a Canadian manufacturer, a lot of the initial prep was was just finding a fine line of, of investing to set up without over investing with the possibility that the border just closes and we can't physically attend. So um, yeah, upon receiving the news that, that SEMA was going virtual, we just pivoted our approach and focused on delivering the same experience that the SEMA attendees have come to expect from Fuji Spray in terms of the, uh, you know, the product line that we, we showcased. Okay, and I guess in considering uh, in considering that, what what made it important for you guys to make make the point of showing up for SEMA three hundred and sixty this year? Um, I mean, even outside of SEMA three hundred and sixty, twenty twenty as a whole, um, really reinforces the the strength and resilience of community. So, being a part of three SEMA three hundred and sixty, uh, much like attending SEMA in Vegas, it's it's about manufacturers, suppliers the educators, the builders, the end users, all attendees in general, just coming together to elevate this industry. Um, given the, the challenges of 2020, I think this sentiment certainly rings truer uh, more than ever. Okay, okay, right on. So, okay. Being involved in that community sort of, mm -hmm. I guess, kind of keeps you all together, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so just generally speaking, how, how has the event been for you guys so far? Are you enjoying yourselves? Um, yeah, you know, I was very skeptical going into the trade show, uh, or sorry, the virtual trade show experience, given that, you know, I think a lot of the, um, a lot of the excitement outside of SEMA is going to Vegas, you know, with your spouse or with your coworkers and, and just having a, an enjoyable time. Um, I must say that having attended other virtual trade shows in the lead up to SEMA 360, um, beyond impressed with the, the social 27 platform that, that SEMA chose. Um, just the amount of um, investment that SEMA took in the lead up to ensuring that exhibitors and I'm sure media as well had a, a really good understanding of the platform and the fact that they didn't just take a platform and use it they from what I gather really built it from from the bottom up um, so SEMA what I found is they took every part of the in-person experience and translated it into the platform in a really clear and easy to access way especially in that that setup tutorial um, most importantly, I think the networking lounge was extraordinarily useful um, just to, you know, have access to the full list of attendees and exhibitors and educators. Um, you know, when you're, you're at a booth and you're, you're talking to someone, you know, being able to throw their company name into a search engine and just have a little bit more understanding about what they are and, and how you can support them with your particular offering. So I would say apart from, you know, slot machines and magic shows, SEMA 360 really really captured the whole entire experience. Thanks for watching. This was a Media Matters production. If you liked what you saw, subscribe for more or check out our other videos.